Hey, hello everyone. My name is Guillermo Duforte Alvarez, and today I will be presenting the work Renano, a reference based compressor for nanopore FASTQ files. First, I would like to thank the group of researchers that collaborated with me in this project. Okay, so let me start by presenting the problem that motivates our work. Nanopore sequencing technologies are rapidly gaining popularity, in part due to the massive amounts of genomic data they produce in short periods of time. The newest devices can actually produce up to 8.5 terabytes of data in less than 72 hours. In this context, we believe that it is crucial to reduce the cost of storage and transmission of nanopore data, and we propose to do this by building a compressor. To understand how we can attack this problem, I would like to begin by explaining how DNA sequencing information is represented and what makes nanopore data special. DNA sequencing information is typically stored in the FASTQ format which consists of a set of many thousands of reads, each one composed of an identifier string, a base call sequence, which is a string of base pairs, and a quality score sequence. In other words, each FASQ file can be separated into three sets, one of IDs, one of base call sequences, and one of quality score sequences where both base call and quality score sequences by far occupy most of the space. In contrast to previous technologies, reads generated by nanopore sequencing are really long of variable length and have high error rates. However, most of the compression algorithms available in the literature are specifically tailored to compress high quality short reads and therefore they do not perform well or at all on the noisy long reads generated by nanopore sequencing. In this context, we recently developed Enano, a compression algorithm designed for nanopore files. Typically, a FASTQ compressor receives the FASTQ file as input and uses a different compression algorithm for each one of the parts of the file as they significantly vary in their composition and the statistical properties. In Nano achieves state-of-the-art compression by focusing in the compression of quality score sequences. In this work, we introduce ReNano, which is a new nanopore FASTQ compressor that builds on Enano by replacing the base call sequences compression component while keeping the other components intact. One way of compressing base call sequences effectively is through what we call reference-based compression. In these methods, an external reference genome is used to aid compression by exploiting the similarities across the sequenced and the reference genome, which, for example, in the case of humans, exceeds 99% of the base pairs. For Renano, we propose two different variants of reference-based compression. Renano 1, where the reference is available without cost to both the compressor and the decompressor, and Renano 2, where the reference is not available to the decompressor, and instead, a compacted version of the reference is stored as part of the compressed output, thus hindering compression performance, but in turn making the decompression process reference-free. The general idea behind both compression schemes is the following. Instead of directly encoding the base call sequences to the compressed file with a basic entropy encoder, we use the reference genome to align the base call sequences. And then we encode large portion of each as a series of alignments to the reference. We do this because usually the alignments can be described more compactly than the original sequences. For both of our algorithms, we assume that the alignment information is obtained from an external tool such as Minimap2. To test Renano, we evaluated the proposed algorithms on a collection of publicly available datasets that cover a wide vari variety of organisms. We compare them against the current state of the art compressor Enano and to the general purpose genomic compressor GenoSeq. 
Also, to measure the performance of a compressor on the base call sequences of a dataset, we define the compression ratio as the quotient between the compressed size of the sequences and their original size. This definition makes smaller compression ratios better. Also, we can easily extend the definition to the total file size compression ratio analogously. Now, let's see the results. In the graph, we show the compression ratio of each compressor on each tested dataset. In particular, the dashed part of Renano 2's bar represents the space used for the compacted reference. The results show that Renano 1 improves the base call sequences compression of Inano by almost 40% on average, while Renano 2 improves it by almost 34% over all the datasets. As for FASTQ compression, the average improvements are 13% and 11% respectively. Both modes of Renano also consistently outperform GenoSeq. It is interesting to see that compared to Renano 1, Renano 2 achieves similar compression results in datasets with high coverage profile, which is not the case for dataset BRA that has 1x coverage. To summarize, we have built two reference-based compression methods that are specifically tailored for nanopore sequencing data. Both methods achieve state-of-the-art performance, and Renano 2, for which the decompression is reference-free, is almost as good in compression performance to Renano 1 in datasets with high coverage per file. Okay, so that will be all for now. And for more information, check out our poster. Thank you, and I'm happy to receive any questions. Bye-bye. <laughs>